Hi, this is Gwen for Tabby with another video about reading Tarot and the Tree of Life. When you look at your Rider Waite Smith cards, you can see in some of them the structure of the Tree of Life that is reflected in the characters or what is going on in the card. For example, when you look at the Three of Pentacles, you can see that there are two groups of people. <laughs> you can't really have a group of one, but you've got a group of two and then you've got one person on the other side. So you already have a division and you have a pillar in the middle. So you, you probably know where I'm going with this. Um, if you look at who's standing where and compare it to the Tree of Life, you see that the two people are standing where the pillar of force would be on the right. And that is Chokma. So what happens in Chokma is this is where you have all your resources. It's where you have your information. Chokma is represented by the zodiac. So nothing is complete yet. Nothing is starting to form yet, but you have all of the resources. And then you move across to three, Bina, and that is where form takes place. It's the top of the pillar of form. So you have this exchange of energy from the right to the left, where you send an impulse, for example, and then it becomes something uh, on the pillar of form. And that's what's happening here. You have these two people, you have an architect, and you have a monk who are giving advice to the mason who is actually making the church and the mason is on the side of Bina, the side of form and so you can see that that's what's happening in this interaction. In Bina, I think that the reason that there's black in the background is that Bina is ruled by Saturn and one of the colors of Saturn is black so I think that's why you have this background that is so dark. I always thought when I looked at this card that this was going on inside a church. I never really looked very closely, but when I looked at it again, I realized that this is actually a doorway. It's a doorway to the church is what they're building. And when you think about another name for a church, um, you think the house of God. When you look at the tree of life, you see that the magician, the magus, is, rules the path that connects Keter with Bina. And the Hebrew letter of the magician or the magus is Baeus which means house. So I think that's a connection there. I don't think that there are ever coincidences, especially with something like that. Um, so it's all very interesting. You have this exchange of energy and in between them, you have the middle pillar. At the top of the middle pillar, you have a little flower, which I think is about, um, you know, fertility, something flowering. You have the three pentacles, which represent the supernal triangle all coming together. You have Keter and then Chokmah and then Bina. And when you move from Chokmah to Bina, you travel along the path of the Empress who is um, associated with birth. And Bina is also associated with birth. This is the, the archetypal mother, the divine feminine, but the divine mother, the mother of the tree of life. And that's one of the ideas that is associated with Bina is that um, this something being given form, like a child. So I hope that was interesting. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video.